Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Some Space Games. This time we're going to take a look at RimWorld and I've played it a few times. Whether it's actually a space game, I'm not, it depends on your point of view. You do start in a spacecraft that crashes and your ultimate goal, there is an end game to this by the way, uh, the end game is that you are trying to build a spacecraft to leave the planet uh, because you don't want to be stranded there. Uh, you can also play as a tribe. There are a few starts possible. Yeah, crash landed survivors, a uh, single rich explorer that's going from place to place uh, who uh, accidentally gets stranded here but really wants to go traveling, and uh, five lost tribes people attempting to rebuild and ultimately create their own spacecraft. Uh, there are mods available for this game, so you can use Steam Workshop to change the scenarios and get new scenarios. But this time I think we're going to go with the Crash Line and Survivors. This is an early access game, so changes will come about. However, it's pretty much complete as far as the gameplay point of view. I mean, you can play it and you won't, uh, you probably won't notice anything missing. There might be some glitches, but uh, they're minor as far as I can tell. Uh, probably maybe in the later phases they're not, uh, they're a little bit more prominent. But in any case, uh, we'll start with three people. And I've played it a few times, so I am going to try the the most random of random things and extreme for the first time. Uh, normally I played something in the middle. So these are the AI storytellers that determine what kind of events your your survivors will face. And so we've got the classic one, a steadily increasing curve of challenge and tension, so building up uh, so it's not so horrible at the start. Uh, this one is chill, uh, so relaxing, uh, but of course at the higher levels you're going to face some serious, serious stuff. And then we've got this guy, so we'll go with this guy. Now, uh, you can create your own seed, uh, secluded, no, um, how about, well, the thing about the planets in this so far, uh, they've all sort of looked like you know, Earth. They've got Earth biomes. So, let, let me let, let me see what happens when I type in not Earth. Okay, um, that's a pretty standard size. Let's generate. And I'll show you what I mean. See, uh, we, we click here, ocean, temperate forest, um, tropical rainforest, tundra, desert. This is interesting because it's got a huge tundra, huh? Um, temperate forest, desert, not not much by way of uh, grasslands kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, so as far as it being an alien planet, it seems more like what happened was there's a galactic empire and they like sent out uh, Genesis probes. Well, Genesis probes that don't, you know, ultimately destroy the world that they create. But, you know, from Star Trek, the little Genesis thing that uh, re uh, terraforms the world. So all the worlds are terraformed. It's sort of like an Isaac Asimov sort of galaxy where pretty much everything is settled. Uh, this in the Foundation series. The entire galaxy is uh, terraformed already, probably by robots. And uh, that's that's where we end up. So we're not in the worst possible situation. It's not like we're landing on something like Mars, right? Uh, where there there are no resources. Uh, well, I mean there are resources, but uh, there are actual creatures roaming around on these planets, as we'll soon see. I think I'm going to select a random site for fun because we're doing a reasonably high difficulty sort of situation. So uh, you could do advanced, and uh, that just uh, size and starting season but select random site okay well I selected the random site and it's put us in a desert this should be interesting let's go uh, it's gonna seem a lot harder than it needs to be so uh, your colonists are going to be represented by little icons like this and you can randomize I'm going to randomize I, I, I and you get some the whole goal of this is to be able to tell a story really and uh, if you take a look at this character, age 44, female colonist, uh, a childhood accident put uh, Maria into a coma. She didn't wake up until she was in her late teens. Her body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on her when they hear her story. So she has additional social, but uh, problems with construction and mining. Uh, Maria never figured out what to do with her life. She traveled often, taking up casual work whenever she found it. 
and she also occasionally worked on a novel. <laughs> she sounds a lot like me actually on that one. Uh, cooking good, construction good, artistic well, um, I guess working on a novel and not succeeding uh, drops your artistic. But naturally optimistic, that's good. Bloodlust gets a rush from hurting people. Uh, twice as likely to start a social fight. Green thumb though. We could use the green thumb. We, we, we could use people. Uh, oh, that's he's social but likes to start fights. She has a relation. A lover. Sammy. Um, we don't seem to have Sammy here though. Faction leader. Hmm. So here we have Austin Kazmarek and Academy student, computer engineer, uh, incapable of dumb labor. Now that's a problem because with only three people, somebody who's not going to be willing to pick up stuff and do basic, you know, cleanup is annoying. Vi incapable of violence is another problem because we need people who can defend themselves. Cleaning, incapable of cleaning. I mean, this is pretty bad. Heat lover, psychically deaf. I don't care about, well, I probably should care about that, but really good at research, computer engineer, academy student, but uh, interesting, really good at social. Um, I mean, Kaz's mind works on a psychic frequency different from everyone else. Uh, okay, wait, like, that's neither here nor there right now, but yeah, I, I don't like these kinds of things. Um, we're gonna have enough trouble as it is. No, no problem with dumb labor. Incapable of intellectual or artistic, pessimist and lazy. Oh joy. Incapable of caring, social, scary. Teetotaler, okay, so no alcohol or drugs. Careful shooter, optimist. Good at research, not really good at anything else, but they can increase these stats by the way, by experience. So that's not necessarily a problem. At least is willing to pick up stuff and clean up and do all those things. Um, uh, it's interesting, psychiatric patient, right? Uh, ooh, firefighting, can't fight fires, can't do any medical stuff, and can't guard any prisoners. Yes, you can have prisoners. So, we have a drifter, a psychiatric patient. Could have a farmer, but this farmer has dementia, an old gunshot to the torso, is frail, and an old gunshot to the right hand, and is 87, so... Nah. Sakura Carter. Medieval Lordling. I'd have no idea how that works out. Uh, a minor noble. Good at social, but have other issues. Charity worker. Havens of safety and comfort. Could not ignore nearby planets where people suffered from poverty. Uh, hard worker. Fast walker. Fast walker is good. Getting around places. Pessimist, though. Incapable of violence. Oh, we've got a careful shooter here. And somebody with bloodlust here. I guess we can do that. Altruist. A drifter, a psychiatric patient, and an altruist. By the way, you'll note the 71 there. Um, they were in cryogenic, so uh, their biological age is 33, but their chronological age is higher than that because of the amount of time they were in cryo, I guess. Um, though I don't understand how they could have different gaps. By, well, maybe uh, before this particular trip, they have been on many other trips. So, actually, this Alexander um, might have been on many, many trips in his youth. Uh, long cryo trips. And this is just his latest trip, and that's why uh, he's 26, but chronolog chronological age is 122. Okay, well, we'll try this bunch. You can rename them, of course. And I've, uh, one time when I played this, I played it on stream and renamed them after uh, viewers. That's always fun. Okay, we uh, awake 
from our crypto sleep sarcophagi. What a name. Uh, to the sounds of sirens and ripping metal, you barely get to the escape pods before your ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Okay, so these are our escape pods. And it'll be a good time to pause the game and take a look around. This is the desert. You can tell. Um... Yeah, not much going on here. Uh, there are some supplies that get dropped from our ship. So you see steel here, wood, wood, packaged survival meals, very important. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is go to Architect, Zone and Area, and we need a stockpile zone to keep this stuff. And this, there's a convenient wall here. Somehow something created a, some walls here. We'll, we'll make use of that in order to create our our haven. I think we will create our stockpile zone immediately outside this area. Okay. So then we have to... You can double click on things to select all of that type. And I'm going to allow them to pick it up. Right now they're forbidden. Uh, who was the good shot? I think Alex was the good... No, uh, yeah, Alex was the good shot, right? Character shooting good. Okay, so Alex equipped the survival rifle. Um, Sakura does not do violent. Maria d can can handle it. Equip the pistol. And what's that? Steel slag. We don't need more steel slag. Okay, silver, which we can use for trade, and then steel, probably the most important thing except for wood. There's a plastic steel knife, but Maria can't even use it. Uh, Alex will have a long-range weapon, but maybe we should also... Well, we'll hold off... Well, okay, we'll give Maria the plastic plas steel knife. Oh, not Maria. Uh, Sakura the plastic plas steel knife for now. Even though she can't really use it. Okay. And this is components. Electronic components. Well, we're gonna have a tough time, because there isn't a lot of trees around to get more wood. Yeah, I might have wanted to reconsider being in the desert. Um, you can chop cacti wood. I didn't realize cacti had wood. But maybe we'll have to mine for other resources. At least there's compacted steel right here. That's good. Okay, so we have to make sure that they're, they're all okay with hauling. That means that they're gonna pick stuff up and put it into our stockpile zone. Um, we have to, you can hover over these and see how skilled they are at each thing. So you see Maria is good at construction, good at repair. I mean, five out of six, is, uh, five out of 20 is good for starters. Remember they, they increase those stats. But the ones with zero probably shouldn't specialize in that. Anyway, uh, let's see how things go. Let's start time. Okay, they're picking stuff up. We'll instruct them to start mining the steel. Nutrient spa uh, paste dispenser. Nutrient paste dispenser. Interesting. Synthesizes nutrient paste from organic feedstocks. That could be handy. Uh, we're in a desert. Okay. Um, you should note research. This is the you'll need a research bench for this, but this is how we get further technologies. Ultimately, to be able to build spaceships, which is the you know optional end game. I mean, you can just try and build the biggest colony you've ever seen, but you know, ship antimatter propulsion, ship computer core. You can uh, slowly piece together your spaceship here, uh, but we'll need a lot more technology than we've got. Okay, let's start building our home, and let's pause. We'll make use of this wall here. Okay, we'll have a door here and a door here. Seems reasonable. And then we'll have to have interior walls. There are three people. Let's have... Nice roomy... Rooms. 
And then we'll watch them start building it. Let's speed up things. So we have pets. We have this monkey, apparently. I mean, definitely belongs to our colony. Hopefully we won't have to kill our pets for food. So, all of our colonists will have, you know, how happy they are. And they will eventually go nuts and start killing people if uh, they're not happy. So, low expectations is good. New colony optimism, okay. Optimist, ate a fine meal. Ate without a table, they don't like that. Feeling bad, ugly environment. And of course, each of them has different needs. Pessimist. Bad thing. Okay, building a roof there. And we'll need some lighting inside. So, not power necessarily. Torch lamp. Well, let, let, maybe we should look into the power situation because we'll need that anyway. Um, how about, well, this is desert, darn it. So, solar generator should not be a bad idea. Let's put, stand it out a little bit. Okay. And then a power conduit. Let's just run it right through. Don't know about these granite chunks in the middle. Um, let's have those haul away, and we'll need a zone to dump those in. No, not the power conduit. That... Sometimes you have to click a few times when they're in a stacked sort of situation to get the right one. And so we need another production, no, a zone area, dumping zone. And we'll have dumping zone over here. And they will need beds. Beds are under furniture. Furniture. And we'll just have a normal bed. Oh, we need wood for that one. Can we have a non-wood bed? Well, hopefully we'll get enough from the cacti. Uh, there's only nine wood there. The, no, the cactuses do not produce much wood. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, there seem to be some more packaged survival meals way out here. Well, obviously they will want to get off this planet uh, given where they are. If it was a comfortable area, it might be alright for them to settle down there, but this is definitely not going to be comfortable. It's already pretty hot outside and it's winter. Local winter, and it's 30 degrees out. So we will need some air conditioning, and yeah, we will need a lot more power for that. So, dromedary? That, that's a camel kind of thing. Uh, I guess we'll have to hunt those. Alex has the careful shot, so we're gonna put Alex in charge of hunting. He is already in charge of hunting. Uh, you can have uh, priority levels instead of just having a check mark for what they're gonna do. You can make them more, more prone to do that sort of thing. So, uh, Maria will be in charge of, definitely in charge of cooking, because she's got 7 out of 20, and if they don't have very good skill cook, cooking meals, then they're going to have trouble making those meals safely without poisoning people. So, keep that in mind. So, the thing about RimWorld and what makes it an outstanding game is the depth of all this, right? And you can see a lot has been implemented as far as the colony building thing is concerned. You will get colonists getting sick and they, they have other issues um, and it, it just goes on and, well we'll see uh, rather than just describe it I'll just let it happen you can mind that there will occasionally be people from other areas coming to trade so that can happen and hopefully out of all things we need to trade for this is the first time I've ever needed to trade for wood We'll have to put them on new- well, there's more packaged survival meals that dropped over here. This is why I'm looking around. So right now my colonists are 
just sleeping outdoors. You can see they're not gonna be happy with that. Ugly environment slipped on ground, you see. Slept outside. Slipped outside and slept on the ground are two separate bad things. Should have created a sleeping spot inside. Actually, the monkey is probably going to be much happier than the rest of them. Uh, Maria is just cloud watching. So this can happen. You get a sense that they have a bit of ennui sometimes. Yeah, I'd really like you to prioritize working on stuff, Maria. Where is Alex? Alex is going for a walk. Uh, there's not, and Sakura is over there too. Prioritize cutting that cactus. Sakura, could you prioritize hauling wood? We really need the wood. So, I mean, I haven't played this game uh, an insane amount, just enough to get the details. Ooh, looks like uh, Dromedari, Dromedari has been killed, but we have uh, very little time to build a butcher table. And the butcher table can be placed outdoors. And we will probably want to also add a chair for whoever's doing that. Uh, all this requires wood. 95 wood. We don't have 95 wood. I'm, I'm worried that the dromedary will go to waste. I mean, it's nice that we have all this limestone lying around. We've got resources, just not, uh, just not wood. And food. We need to start growing crops. Quickly. But this isn't the most fertile ground for that. Um... This, there's a patch here that looks a little bit nicer. Soil, yeah. This is sand, this is soil. Okay, so we could use that soil. I'm gonna zone some growing zones. Need batteries. Ah, yes. Alright, we have solar, solar panels but no batteries. So here we can grow, by default, it's potatoes. We'll leave that one on the default. I want corn. I want rice. And you can see the details of rice. Uh, beauty, fertility requirement, flammability, uh, fertility requirement. How fertile is this? Oh, 80, that's pretty pretty fertile. Yeah, okay. Um, so not a problem there. Uh, info, light requirement, max hit point, <laughs> hit points even for the corn. Uh, nutrition, and uh, how long it takes to grow and all. Okay. But, uh, rice, we will want heal root, uh, but that requires a certain amount of skill for people to make. And you've got hops, cycoid plants, and smoke leaf. I'll leave you to guess how that works out. But, um, none of my non-downed growers have this skill. Oh, so I can't make heal root yet. They'll have to get more skill. Okay, more corn. Let's start off with that. Oh, and you can manage their sleep and wake times. Actually, I've had a character who is nocturnal. But right now, they all prefer to be awake in the daytime and sleep at night, so... No point messing with that. Though, you could tell them to uh, ha take some time off. So, if we want to have them... You know, I'll take a break in the middle of the day, siesta style. You could do that. Alex has definitely been hunting, but those those animals are gonna get spoiled. They're not refrigerated or anything. Mad animal, jump to location. Uh, we've got a maddened manhunter rat. Alex, uh, before that, oh god, I can't even. Um, uh, I'll draft him. Uh, I don't know if I want him to melee attack the rat. Oh no, it's going after Sakura. No, Sakura, run, run. Alex. Fire at rat. Fire at the rat. Oh, jeez.
Oh great, he's hopeless. All right, melee attack. Just attack the rat. Poor Sakura. Oh, the rat attack Sakura. Um, uh, uh, she's she's just gonna run anyway. I could draft her, but fire it, rat. Okay, got the rat. Ah, uh, Sakura now is cowering and injured. It looks like. Uh, bite from the rat. Pain and bleeding rate is eight percent. Bleeding rate is four point six percent per day. Uh, so far, a little bit of pain and otherwise okay. Now it's quite possible for them to be injured, such that they have to be rescued by somebody else and you know, brought back home or something. We need a battery because we're not storing any power. Um, maybe... Yeah, that just requires steels and components, so we could do that. I don't know, I think it'd be safer to put it inside. Maybe. We can also build other ways of generating power, like a wind turbine. Always good in the desert. But you saw that huge area that the wind turbine was um, outlining, and that is because it needs that area clear. There can't be anything in that area, otherwise it's obstructed. Gotta love how the lights turn on. And our battery is charging. You can see it'll have some stored wattage. Some blood spots there. Try to keep your your own uh, habitat free of blood. It'll be a challenge. That's what cleaning is for. But yeah, I, I'm not uh, not particularly good at this game. I just have the basics down. There's a lot that I don't know about the game, and people would obviously point out things I've already done wrong, that kind of thing. Okay, well, our peoples are fully healed on their own, so didn't need any medicine for that. Some res- Aw, oh, Sakura failed to construct it? That can happen too. They can mess up while constructing it and then waste resources like that. Wow, we've been killing some dromedaries. Um, spoils in one day. Oh, man. We don't want them eating raw meat, that's for sure. This is a steam geyser, and once we get geothermal power, we could take advantage of that. Um, we can do deep drilling. Geothermal power here. Allows you to build ge geothermal power plants on top of steam geysers. For uninterrupted, uninterrupted power. Alright guys, I really want you guys to chop some more wood. Oh, uh, we get to name our town finally. Uh, Crash Town. Uh, Dead Cactus Gulch. Something like that. Because we're, we're, we're gonna kill these cacti like there's no tomorrow. We're really, really low on food and we really need that butcher table. And then we'll need a stove. Uh, we could probably build a stove. Electric stove. We can definitely build that already. Let's skip the chair for now. Yes, build that butcher table. Cool. Alright, maybe we'll get that meat cooked. Okay, pause. So, we have to take a look at this butcher table. We got these bills. We need to add a bill. Butcher creature. And I'm gonna say do forever. As long as we have creatures, it should be done. And then that'll take care of that. 
And now I'm going to reassign Maria to make sure she does the cooking. More than anything else. All right, she's got power, and then here I'm gonna add a bill. Gonna say, just cook a simple meal. Uh, do forever. As long as we have food to cook, do it. And that'll get us, hopefully, surviving a bit. A bit. Got some raw meat. Maria's gonna take some and go cook it. Excellent. Phew, that was close. Um, we need some floors. Not wood floors. We could build as sterile floors. You gotta uh, keep in mind how beautiful people uh, it is. It's clean, but it's sterile. It's no good. Um, if we have concrete floors made out of steel, the beauty is negative one, so they're not gonna like that. Sandstone has beauty of two, so that's a that's a plus. Let's get some sandstone or granite or limestone. I know there's some around. This is slate. Slate was good too, right? Slate. Yeah, slate's good. Alright, um, so we're going to set mining slate. Now, those meals out there are still gonna get spoiled. See, spoils in three days. We still don't have a refrigerator. As far as I can tell, you can make a refrigerator by putting a cooler into a small area, but really we need to do some more research. Or any research would be really, really a good idea. I wonder if we might need stone cutting in order to actually make use of the slate. So uh, we've got some wood now stockpiled, let's get a research bench finally. Simple research bench. I'm gonna put one in this corner here. Steel and wood. We don't have quite enough wood yet. Minor break risk. Sakura. Sakura is not happy. Why is Sakura not happy? Um, pessimist feeling terrible, ugly environment. Eight without a table. Jeez. But, but I mean, she's got so many positive points. Hmm. Well, a table... I don't know if we can make a table with anything but wood. No. So it might be a while before she gets a table. At least she has a bed. We could put some flooring in once... I guess Sakura really doesn't like uh, mining stuff. Maybe she needs some time off. Let's add some joy to her life. We're in hour 18, some evening, and maybe some here too. And we need to give them something to play around with. Um, everything requires wood. It's really annoying. Look at all those meals, excellent. But, yeah, they're not gonna last very long. So, uh, most foodstuffs will spoil after a very short time. Walk-in freezer, build a freezer, closed room, one or two coolers into the wall. Our freezer should be over here. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, we have a research bench. So now let's do some research. Stone cutting, passive cooler. Without using electricity. No, we have electricity. We've got plenty of electricity. Um, colored lights. Decorative purposes. Well, I guess that'll make them happier. Colored lights makes people happy. But, yeah, let's go with stone cutting first. Use it for construction. That'll allow us to do the flooring. Um, and so I'm going to sort of... Yeah, wall. Oh, we can build a steel wall? Oh! I didn't even know that. You can right click on it and change it from silver and to silver and steel. Okay. Steel wall is. Heck, for a freezer it makes total sense. And 
and all we want is store in here so you can actually configure the storage manually. We want to have raw food in here, but uh, manufactured, no, none of that. Raw resources, nah. Items, body parts. Notice AI Persona Core. Things get really weird in this game eventually. No weapons, no apparel. Chunks. Nope. Corpses. Uh, I don't know about human-like corpses. Animal corpses. Putting them in the freezer might help, but we should just get them prepared first. No, let's just focus on food. Let's not allow rotten. Okay. Priority critical. Cool. So now I've learned something. We can build steel walls. I'm happier. Can we build steel chairs too? I mean, not the most comfortable thing. Ah, so that's why I have these silver beds. Um, I can build a steel bed or a wood bed. Okay. Let's build a... You know what? I'll build a silver chair. No, uh... We don't have that much silver, huh? Yeah, we can get steel much easier. Let's give uh, Alex a steel bed now. Um... I wonder what it's... Beauty is 8. Comfort 0.75. If it was a wood bed... Beauty 12, Comfort 0.75. So Comfort is not that bad. Beauty is a little bit of a downer. But... I don't know, we might need to hunt for more animals at this rate. There's another ostrich. Let's designate that for hunting. There's some wood to be picked up. Man, I'm not seeing too many animals. We better get growing. Okay, is this cooler now? Unroofed. Oh, guys, build a roof on it, huh? There we go. Alright, um... 21 degrees Celsius. Not exactly cool, huh? We need better ways of cooling it. Still spoils in three days, it says here. Maybe I made it too big. I don't know, would uh, more coolers help? I don't know if our electric supply will hold out very well. I don't know if this is connected, actually. Not enough steel stored. Jeez, we are running out of steel. Uh, we've got rice planted, potato planted, corn planted. The corn in this field is 12% grown. We need more fields though. This is not going to be enough. So let's zone some more. I want to keep fairly small zones so that I can get them staggered in their growth rate. Oh, this is all one zone? Well, if it has to be all one zone, make it corn. Make those potato, yeah. Sounds like some hunting is going on. Let's see, Alex? Yes, Alex has gotten the ostrich. Good times. I mean, hopefully some animals wander in from the edge of the map, otherwise... At best, we're gonna end up having to be vegetarians. Yeah, I don't fancy that uh, iguana meat is gonna be great, but... Maybe that has to be a thing. This area does not seem to be getting much cooler. 32 outside, 21 inside. Uh, oh, we can set it. Ah, 
I should have figured. Target temperature. I want freezing. Um, how about negative one? That changes the power use. You see, current current power use goes high. Uh, Twenty watts needed to get to uh, zero. We need two hundred watts, and that's well. We've got some good power output from the wind turbine, so it can get to zero. And in that case, it's frozen. Won't spoil. Okay, cool. Um, Oh, I don't know what that does, actually. Oh, it took a lot of power to get it down to freezing, but to maintain freezing, it doesn't need too much power. Well, this one does. I guess this one and this one are, are uh, doing the main work. We did... Well, sometimes we need these. I probably overdid it on having so many coolers. We're out of power there. And we're diminishing power on our battery. We need more more sources of power. Okay. Um, dromedary leather. We've got some leather. Cool. I think we need solar powers and more wind turbines. Oh, by the way, uh, if some people wander in... Or your colonists happen to have babies, you can have new colonists. It won't always be three. In fact, I'm surprised some of that didn't happen already. We need the fences because there are pirate raids that will start soon. So that can happen too. And one way you can get colonists is by capturing the pirates, which are basically like barbarians. That's the interesting thing about this. Um, RimWorld is sort of half your normal colony game, sort of like Soul Zero Mars colonization without it being Mars. But the other half is sort of like civilization when you think about it. Um, you've got barbarians, you've got a tech tree, research, you're trying to get off the planet, so the goal is the, you know, travel to Alpha Centauri goal, you know, build your spaceship and all. So functionally, it's sort of a mix between between uh, Civ and Soul Zero Miles Colonization or any of those, you know, plant-based or something like that. Minor break risk. Alex has some needs. Um, hungry. Well, heck, eat, Alex, eat. So among our defenses right now, before we research more stuff, we can build sandbags and deadfall traps. It looks like when they say sandbags, they're steel sandbags, so nothing to sneeze at. I think we should protect our stockpile and sort of make a make a thing here. I think that might be a good uh, fortification to, for starters. Uh, we might put it right up against the wall, but I think this is okay. And we need some more joy in our lives. So, how about a horseshoe pin to start off with that? Okay, it's 47 out. I think we need to restrict them to indoors. And we need to actually define indoors a little bit better. Yeah, I don't want... This is not home area. Stop that. Go back inside, please. Um, our home area is way too big. I want it to just be indoors. So that when that's a heat wave, they don't go outside and get heat stroke. So, there we go. They should all end up indoors now. So heat wave is one of these events that the storyteller can give you. There's also the pirate raids. There's also like solar flares, which give you a radiation warning and stuff like that. But now we have got this. A military commissar named Selma Lara calls you from nearby. She's being chased by tribespeople from White Woodpecker Camarillero. Uh, 
she begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, she's 38 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the tribe's people on her tail. Well, this should be interesting. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, um, I'm going to Alex Draft, because he's best off at defending people. Maria Draft, Lara. Lara needs to run. Okay, Alex. Take up position in our defenses. Well, we haven't even finished building our defenses. Okay, there's this eagle. I think this that, that eagle person is the only one who's going to be attacking. Fire at Eagle. Headshot. Okay, I think we got you know, Eagles in shock. Okay, so we need to work on this situation. Um, capture Eagle. Ah, we need to make a prisoner area. Granite Club. Well, no wonder we got that so easily. Okay, why don't we make this our prisoner area? Or, um, yeah. Well, I don't know if we want a prisoner area so close to our other facilities there um, but yeah maybe maybe right here separate from the whole thing uh, maybe a nice room would help but I'm, I'm not I'm not bothered by that we need to integrate Lara into all our stuff first so Lara good at hunting cool and uh, we'll, we'll set at two does she have is she carrying anything Character. Oh, well, let's see her. Okay, she's greedy. Uh, she does not like prosthetic parts. And psychically deaf, fine. Great with animals, growing. Loves shooting, but not good at it yet. Military Commissar, so uh, plus on the shooting there. Um, does not appear to have any weapons. No impressive. Oh, we gotta have to build her a bedroom, too. Um, a smoke leaf dependence, huh? So she's addicted to smoke leaf. That's going to be a bit of a problem. That's gonna be a big problem because we don't have any smoke leaf growing. Uh, we need to, well, we'll need to grow smoke leaf for her, I guess. Uh, or, I mean, she, she's liable to go nuts if she doesn't get smoke leaf, I guess. I haven't actually had that sort of situation before. Well, let's have a pair, uh, well, a pair of smoke leaf patches over here. It seems like the monkey also eats our food. Ah, uh, we gotta need more food because we've got more colonists and the prisoner as well. Might be easier to just let the prisoner die. Eclipse. Well, that can happen. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun and an eclipse has begun, which of course means that our solar panels aren't going to work. But we have enough uh, surplus energy production, so that's not a problem for us. But yeah, uh, Lara's going to need a ranged weapon in order to be a hunter. She should swap weapons with Maria. But that's not a major concern right now. How is this bleeding? Uh, well, he's got a lot of gunshots. Blood loss moderate. But by moderate, it means 51, 52%. Consciousness is low. Pain is extreme. Uh, we're going to set this as a prisoner bed for prisoners. Oh, it's, it's still outdoors. 
Okay, it's no longer outdoors, so we can say that to our prisoner bed now. All right, well, uh, Lara, you can do the honors. Capture Eagle. And uh, I'm going to start restricting people to indoors after we capture Eagle. It's 50 degrees Celsius out. Okay, so home, 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 home. Okay, Maria is treating Eagle in restraints. So, has treated the right kidney. Still has not treated a torso or the right leg there. Gunshot injuries. Well, Eagle is no longer incapable of walking. I think I'm going to tighten up the home zone. Because they're spending too much time in the greater home zone. Okay. And it's still hot out. Okay, we have finished stone cutting research. So, next thing we need to do is a stone cutter table. I wonder if we can make these out of. Oh, yeah, we can make a steel stone cutter table. Better. Let's cancel that. I'm so glad I found this out, that you can make steel tables and steel stuff. I, I didn't realize until now that you could... I mean, some of this stuff you can. Like, uh, fuel stove, it doesn't work. But, for some of these things, you can make steel or silver as well. Psychic drone? What the heck? Every colonist of the female gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a powerful psychic drone over the entire region on a frequency that only seems to affect the female gender. For a few days, some people's mood will be quite a bit worse. So that's what it meant by psychic... Um, what you got? Uh, some of them are psychically dead. Psychically deaf, right? So... Lara's mind won't be affected by the psychic drone. She'll be all right. Um, but otherwise, um, Maria and Sakura are gonna be in trouble. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we need a new research project. Auto doors. Well, that that'll, that'll make things quicker. Brewing, that could be interesting. Well, we have to make smoke leaf for uh, Lara. So I guess we need that. I don't know if this includes medicines as well. Okay, well, we'll research that for Lara's sake. Lara is still going to be dependent on it. And Eagle is too. I th no, Eagle, it doesn't look like Eagle is dependent. Uh, okay. Alright, I think that's that gives you an idea. We'll be starting to build floors in this area. And, yeah, so floors will make things look good. After we get the stone cutting table, we'll have slates to put flooring in. No, I missed a spot there. And you sort of, uh, we're missing a cooler there that we're supposed to build. Anyway, but you get the idea, and this can get uh, quite lofty, and I'm sure along the way the events get more and more complicated. We might not be just attacked by tribes people carrying clubs anymore as our research increases. Right now we've got a psychic drone to worry about, and I will find out what that does on my own. If you would like to see more videos in RimWorld, please do tell me in the comments below if you have any questions. You can leave those in the comment section as well. And on that note, I'll see you next time.